Now, as crimes get increasingly sophisticated, crime fighters have also had to up their game. Smart mapping technology is one way for authorities to analyze a crime situation. It can also be used to identify patterns and trends and help in crime prevention. But how exactly does it work and why is this technology so important in ensuring public safety? Here to break it all down for us is John Beck. He's industry manager of law enforcement at Esri. That's an international supplier of geographic information system software. And Thomas Pramotam, he's CEO of Esri Singapore. Thanks for joining us today, gentlemen. Thank you. Thanks. All right, so uh, let's uh, begin with you, Thomas. What exactly is smart mapping technology? Well, you know, today data come, in, come to us in huge volume and velocity, and there's always a location element in it, right? So smart mapping technology lets us organize and analyze this complex data set to draw insights, patterns, and then to make effective decision and collaborate with uh, decision makers. I'll give you an example. Um, smart mapping has been used for dengue, the combat of dengue, to understand how dengue operates and its breeding ground, we have different information. Real-time information from rainfall to weather, actual information coming from the ground where citizens are reporting, and breeding grounds that needs to be enforced. This information needs to analyze, to be analyzed, to look at hotspots, to disseminate the information back to enforcement officers who can then take action and prevent. So smart mapping really takes complex information, breaks it down, through visual representation, analytical capabilities, and then collaborate uh, in a collaborative manner, disseminate the information back to the people uh, at the right time in the right place. Right, that, that's a very good uh, example using dengue, but on the subject of law enforcement, if I was part of a police organization, how would I use that technology to apprehend criminals or to help in the investigation process? Let me give you an example of how it could happen. Because smart mapping allows us to overlay complex information, we could take historical criminal incidents, we could take known locations of offenders, profiles of uh, victims or assets that have been targeted, analyze that together with information that are coming from other agencies, mm. right? Um, it could be surveillance cameras from uh, supporting agencies, or it could be crowdsourced information, even like Twitter. Analyze that to determine where the hotspots are and take uh, deterrent approaches around that. Some of these hotspots can be treated not just with sending more foot patrols, but it could be setting up a surveillance camera, mm. or where should the camera point? It's something that's obvious in smart mapping and not. Or simply just lighting up a back alley that uh, deter crimes. So planning deterrent methods and then communicating back to the community is key. Something that we are familiar with, um, neighborhood watch. When this information is handed back to the community leaders that are planning neighborhood watch patrols, they can now better plan where should they focus their attention on, increase awareness because that information is made available to them. And together with the law enforcement agencies and community, we work towards a safer right, and safer. Uh, so there's a Singapore. vast volume of data available, and, and, and that, I suppose, sort of drills it down to, to where the focus should be. John, let's bring you in on the conversation then. I mean, speaking about uh, crime fighting and so on, uh, can it be used then to preempt crimes? I mean, as, 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 as Thomas was talking about. So, yeah, as Thomas was describing, we have this all this historic crime data, and it can be used to predict hot spots and. Uh, and look for emerging crime patterns, and we're now using it to, to predict crime before it ha before it even happens. Uh, we call it crime forecasting or predictive policing. And uh, it say say your house is burglarized, and I'm your neighbor. I now have a higher chance of my house being burglarized. We call it near repeat location. So um, once we see an emerging crime trend, we can uh, send uh, deploy forces there, uh, assets to stop that crime trend before it even starts. Mm. John, every, every technology that we hear about, eventually you know, criminals find a loophole. I know you're not, you're not going to tell criminals what the loophole could be in this one, but are there limits to this technology? There is. It, although it's predictive policing, we can't tell a cop to be on a street corner on Wednesday at 5 o'clock and arrest the criminal as he exits the house. Um, it does have limitations. It can predict where crime may occur and where an emerging crime pattern is occurring. Um, but, you know, it's not, not like on TV where, where you're going to find out where the, where the crook lives. Yeah. All right. Uh, but what about, uh, you know, sort of keeping all of that data safe? I mean, there, there must be, you know, volumes of it, though. 
So Esri Smart Maps are as, are as um, the security is as good as the security um, protocols of the agency that, which hosts the data. But uh, agencies also want to share this crime data with other neighboring agencies and with the public in some cases um, to give uh, crime alerts, neighborhood watch, and so forth. Uh, so when you do share this crime data, victim information is stripped out of it. Um, if you are sharing a public crime map, um, the address will be taken out. It'll just be mapped to the block level so that um, all victim information is cleaned from the data and, it, and it's safe to share. Okay. Right, Thomas, let, let's come back to you. With respect to Singapore, how far along are we in utilizing this technology? Well, the smart mapping technology has really been utilized by many sectors, even beyond public safety, right? It comes from planning agencies for the physical assets that we live in, the infrastructure. It comes from the way we manage people, so the human geography of it. When you put all this together, it lays out a plan, um, an actionable plan that manages and organizes the, the data. It crunches the information analysis and gives it back to stakeholders. So it beats public safety offices, um, policy makers, the community uh, at large. Smart mapping allows that collaborative environment uh, and information to be shared with the right people. Mm, and making sense of it all, isn't it? Yes, it's yeah. about making yeah. sense. Well, thanks very much, gentlemen, for coming to our studios Thank to you. talk about smart mapping technology. Our guests, John Beck and Thomas Pramotam from Esri, talking to us about using smart mapping technology to combat crimes.